Hello students, welcome back to our class of Automata. Now, this is one of our requested video by my student that sir, please minimize this video, uh, DFA. Now, uh, see in this DFA, as we have discussed earlier, I am going to use the partition method. Now, for partition method in this particular DFA, we need to make two sets first. Now, the, my first set will have all the non final states that is A, B, and F. And my second set will have all the final state that is C, D and E. Okay. So this is my first step. Okay. Done. Okay. Now in the next step what I am going to do is that I will simply check that if I apply 1 over A then I will come to C. That means in this set. In this set and if I apply 0 uh, then I will come to B. That means this set. Okay. So this is my A. Now what about B? Now if I apply 1 then it is coming to D in this set and if I apply 0 then it is coming to this set. So A and B as similar property. Now what about F? Now if I apply 0 and 1 in both case it will remain here. So it will be another one. Now C now if I apply a 0 then it will come into E that means in this set if I apply 1 then it is coming to F in this set ok now C now what about D if I apply 0 then it is coming to E in this set if I apply 1 then it is coming to F ok done D now in case of E if I apply 0 then it is in this set same as D or E and if I apply 1 then it is coming to F same so it will remain E now next <coughs> now if I apply 0 then over A uh, then if I apply 0 over uh, then it is in B and if I apply 1 then it is in C in this set and for B it is also these two sets are right no problem and if is already partitioned uh, okay done and C D C if I apply okay done so we are done so we will simply merge these uh, states so my diagram will become like this A comma B and then C comma D comma E and F. Okay. Now um, if I apply 0 then it will be a self loop right because if I apply 0 over A it is coming to B and if I apply 0 over B it is coming to A so it will be a self loop and if I apply 1 it will simply coming to this state ok in both case we are coming to C or D ok but for C and D 0 will be a self loop and for 1 it is coming to F and in case of F it is already defined as 0 and 1 in both case it will remain there ok right so this is our final diagram 
and I have used there the partition method to minimize. Okay, students. Uh, so I expect some more comments and subscribe in my channel, and I also expect that you send me request of other video tutorials. I have a recent plan of starting more new tutorials uh, on the latest technologies like uh, more advanced PHP or maybe some uh, HTML5, CSS3 or maybe responsive uh, website making and web application and web apps making. I have some plans. So I expect from you guys uh, to make some comments and uh, you, you send me requests that what kind of tutorials are you really looking at from me. Okay. Thank you for your time and I am waiting for your response.